Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crate Expectations. I'm here with The Sky is Falling Sarah. How are I you have... today, Sarah? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? <laughs> is the sky falling? <laughs> I have never said the sky is falling, I don't think. I know. I know. You're not chicken little. And actually, I'm no. I'm just projecting cuz that's what the community is doing right now. Mm -hmm. Is is uh sky is falling and you know, two new territory battle information has surfaced, finally. Uh, they shoved Meatwad aside and actually had Crumb write the post. I thought that was funny. Yeah, I noticed that, too. So he did the road ahead and this. Yeah, they were like, you know what, you know what, Meatface? Like, Not you're today. Still, you're, like, we don't want to have to pay unemployment money for, like, you know, but we're going to just, like, push you aside for the important stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we'll let Crumb, let our boy Crumb handle it. And I was like, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yep. Um, less chances that we're going to get trolled about Red 5. Yeah, I did not see any Red 5 hints in this, or trolls, or et cetera, in this post. It was refreshingly Red 5 free. Yeah. Thank goodness. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, actually, I, I, we'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. But I, I was, I was actually, I, I've thought for a while that maybe we won't get a character purchase for GT3, and okay. uh, but, but I was kind of uh, like, I was like, you know what? All this trolling from Meat Face, like, I'll still just be annoyed by it, frankly. But. What if? At least, at, at, if if he's finally, like, hey, Red 5 is actually in the store for GT3, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm more okay with it. Probably, right. like, I, I'm finally like, oh, okay, if he, <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, he can stop. Thank you. Right. Yep. The trolling can end now. Exactly. License to quit opening your mouth, meat face. So, uh... Here's here's the thing, guys. We're going to be doing a little bit different format today, right? Uh, because territory battle information is just so juicy right now. So we're still going to be going on. Uh, we're going to be doing the the first half on my channel and then the other half on Sarah's channel. But it's going to be more podcast like. Like we're, we'll probably put up some of the uh, the text and stuff that CG has released and everything. But you can listen to it podcast style, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you know, those of you who are new to this show, you can uh, just in the video description, you can go directly to part two if you want. Sarah's channel is there, the link to her video. And or if you want to stay and watch or listen to the end, you can just click in the final 20 seconds or so. Uh, you can click on the link directly to Sarah's channel. So uh, like, mm -hmm. subscribe, do all the things on my channel, and then you can choose to do it or not on hers. Well, hopefully you choose to do it. I I agree, but people uh, should have the choice, Sarah. All right. If, if they have to. <laughs> um, I yeah. should be careful. You've been you've been grumpy all day. Actually. I have been grumpy all day. Today would be the appropriate day to introduce me as Grumpy Sarah, and you chose not to. <laughs> I know. Uh, Some, someone in the comments last time was like... I was like, grumpy Sarah, oh, poor Sarah. I was like, no, poor Zareth. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, poor Sarah that she's, okay. okay. Uh, Anyways. Anyway. All right. Territory yeah. battle stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This is So this has been the post that we have been waiting for, I should say, about territory battle. Still missing a lot of right. information. We were hoping it would be here on Friday, if I will remember. Right. So, I mean, I'll, I'll take it on Tuesday instead. We're going to get yeah, more info totally fine. probably tomorrow because the title update has started already oh, yeah. rolling out. Um, but, man, people are really not enjoying this one. Yeah. So, uh, you know, one of... And this isn't me being an inherently... I mean, I'm not an inherently negative person. I, I tend to be very positive, which is why it's been so out of character on some levels for me to just keep ragging on CG about so many things. I, I'm i still really annoyed by a lot of this stuff, but I feel like they've actually... I don't know if cleaned up their act is quite the right word, but like there hasn't been any like overt signs of 
like awfulness from them lately. And mm-hmm. honestly, if I'm just gonna give my my initial take on this. I don't think that this territory battle stuff is going to be awful. And I'm not speaking because, hey, look, I have all the I'm a I have 10.5 million GP or 10.6, whatever, on, on my main. Like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I, I'm 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 really honestly, I'm seeing everything through the prevail man or Professor X lens, uh, rather. And you know, which which is like an eight million account almost, not quite there. Um mm-hmm. has relic issues, has all this stuff, and I, I still think Everything is going to be okay after right. we all feel bad for a while. Uh, I'll let you talk for a minute, though. What are your initial thoughts on all of this? Um, so I read I read the post, and I was like, okay. And I was reading it, and I was digesting it. And I was like, all right. I think the thing that I found most interesting by it, and it was that the platoons have relic requirements as well and the combat missions have relic i kind of i expected the special missions to have relic requirements i didn't expect like the phases to have relic requirements to to even like do the combat missions and stuff and the platoons but i'm not surprised by it i mean when when you think about it like they have been putting relic gates out there in general everywhere um, mm-hmm. everywhere and I don't know. I kind of looked at it from the lens of like way back when they first told us about territory battles in, I think it was July or maybe it was September. One of those state about of the galaxy. New, about the upcoming ones that, yeah. are, that are now upon us. Okay. Correct. Yeah. When they first mm-hmm. said that there was a new one coming um, and they, when they were like, yeah, it's going to have light side, mixed, dark side, you get to use your whole roster, platooning, all this kind of stuff. And they're like, it's going to involve a lot of strategy of using your roster efficiently for yourself, but also like planning within your guild kind of thing. Um, And that was just really highlighted in this post today. Like that's going to take a lot of coordination, Um, but that's fine. Right. Right. I mean, that's. I, I like the idea of being able to plan around a lot of this stuff. Like this, and this doesn't, doesn't feel like um, datacrons are so wide open. You know, like the, uh, you know, I guess the thing I'm thinking of is because this is going to take a lot of planning and coordination. Uh, mm-hmm. You can kind of compare it to recently we had datacrons released, or I don't know how recently exactly, but you know what I'm saying. Like, re- relatively recently, it came out, but. Ter- like, crons are tough because not everyone in the guild has the same cron, has the same, all, all the different things, and the sets reset every time, so it's like, hey, I finally got the, you know, if you're the territory war officer, you're like, I finally got this, this guy in my guild to actually, like, roll the right data crons, and two months later, he's like, oh my gosh, like, you have the wrong data crons again, bud. Right. You know, uh, like, like it's just this perpetually uh, refreshing mess, whereas territory battles are static like they they've Mm -hmm. everything about them is static now well and that's the other thing interesting they even said like the combats themselves are static so you're not going into it being like oh am i gonna get geos in wave four or or grievous like what's gonna happen you know um which is a huge change yeah, I mean, I I kind of like it because you can actually just create a video that says, like, here, uh, yeah. use this exact loadout and setup, and you can just, like, okay, first you stun this guy, then you turn, take turn meter away, whatever. Like, you're able to just totally perfectly plan it as opposed to the other territory battles. Like, uh, well, if there's a droidica, then shoot it, but if there's not, then, you know, like, shoot the the other droid and kill B1s sometimes but don't other times and and who knows like B2s might be your friend or your enemy this will be this will be just um okay go in with this squad knock it out right exactly so it'll be a little bit easier in terms of once you find something that works you're Mm -hmm. you're golden um yeah absolutely yeah I think it is okay it's going to take a lot of adjusting and it's going to take like we have to we have to also look at it from the perspective of light side geonotion came out three years ago this month Mm -hmm. like it, it was it was three years ago and that 
Like we went into that getting our butts handed to us. Like we all just face totally planted. Just totally kicked. T- yep. Totally wrecked. Like I remember, mm-hmm. I remember hearing from people and everyone thinking it was way too overpowered and it needed to be retuned and all that kind of stuff. And it's going to feel the same way this time. Oh yeah, like we're we're gonna go in and lose all our our missions and fights, and it's gonna be miserable. We're not gonna have enough relic levels for things, you know. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be like, man, I just never realized how bad my roster is in terms of relic, like consistent relic levels. Right. Um, but I I do think that we're gonna learn from it, and when I say territory battle, mm-hmm. it is just such a great uh, parallel, honestly, because. For those of you who weren't around when, like, say, Territory Battle came around, people were super in- intensively negative. Like, it, it was t- it was so difficult. It was to the point where, first off, we weren't getting to the final day for a long time. Like, to, right. you know, um, for for Phase 4, we had just redone a, a mission or, like, we'd d- redone enough zones mm-hmm. to get more stars that I remember thinking, like, oh... Well, this is interesting. Like, I can actually do the Nexu mission. I can actually try, you know. Like, I was like, oh, sweet. There's a General Skywalker one with 501st. Oh, I died. Right. You know. But but we, we were getting so... We weren't getting far in it at all to the point where I legitimately... And a lot of people thought that they had it backwards. And day one was actually the hardest. And it would get progressively easier when we got to the back end. Yeah. And the funny thing was we couldn't test it because no one got to the back zone. Right. To be able um, to show. Well, and it, it's funny. So I was looking at my notes from when Light Side Territory Battle la- launched. And this is actually a really good parallel as well, because when Light Side Territory Battle launched, Geo Territory Battle, Galactic Legends weren't a thing. We had no Galactic Legends in the game yet. Right. And now we have seven. So we're going into this Territory Battle with seven Galactic Legends, which just to like paint the picture a little bit more clearly is like within those three years seven galactic legends were released obviously only three of them are light side so only three can be used on on the light side territory battle but that's still three galactic legends that are now giving you more of an edge in territory battle you now add conquest characters into that like there's all these things that were released relic levels were increased mods went from five dot to six dot like we had all of these things change that made territory battles easier and you know more we could progressively move that bar yeah Yeah, exactly so it's going to be the same thing here like we are starting now where we have this this stuff there is something down there down the road that we don't know is coming that will whether it's in the rewards or whatever it is that will make it more manageable as it progresses. All right. Uh, yeah, like we weren't able to play that. Like, yes, it it feels right now. To like, like just the emotion. It feels like we've been doing end game light side territory battles forever. Mm-hmm. But I mean, even just like the the guild that you and I share, the one that my alt is in. Um, like we we've been picking up star. Like we just picked up our thirty third star when like just just kind of recently, right? Three, like three months ago. Yeah, I, it's okay. So not like just really re- recently, but but like that it's been a progressive thing. Even even with that, you know, like right. it's it's not it's not like we've just been maxed out on light side territory battles except for the star that we can't possibly get. Like right. it's it's actually been something that we've been chewing on and working on the entirety of light side territory battles from mm-hmm. start to finish and so who knows what the game's gonna look like but i would be very like my roster three years ago didn't have a single galactic legend like you just said right it it now has seven and star killer and you know all all the awesome stuff that that i didn't have three years like our, our rosters are going to be completely transformed in three years if the game is still going and everything but mm-hmm. yeah like like relic nine yes it does just feel so oppressive to think like they have they have that requirement here could you could we pull that up actually yeah. the the requirement yeah. list yeah gosh i mean this does like so at, initially when i saw this i was like this is such a kick in the nuts 
Like it right. just feels like we're just getting kicked to the like they just can't can't just can't help it. Like they're just like gleefully just it's not just one kick to the nuts, it's just a perpetual it's like a gif of someone just constant just perpetually just getting kicked and kicked and kicked and mm-hmm. kicked. But uh, yeah, so like we can't access phase five or six. For a long time, like not not right. even the huge rosters in the game can like there there are people who have right around forty like maybe maybe a little more than that of relic nines not much more though, mm-hmm. um, right and, and you you have to keep in mind like that's not their full team like it, it's just whichever characters that they have at, at those relics but also if you wanted to take advantage of platoons to make the combats easier so that you could get these stars right. You're not going to be able to fill the platoons like it's going to which is what happened with light side geo we didn't fill the platoons right away like we had to pick and choose which ones to ignore right well and that's that's just the thing i i feel like you know the community tends to be very negative anyways and i i can understand i mean i remember the backlash when you know like most people got darth revan but then they couldn't get malik or you know stuff like that and it's disappointing. People are like, I wanted to do all of it. Like, they're excited mm-hmm. about it. It shows their passion, and it shows... And, and I get that. I guess I feel like a lot of the people are just, you know... It was pretty miserable, Light Side Territory Battle, uh, initially, because we had that expectation of going in there and e- kicking immediate ass. And this right. is just going to be the opposite. Just like in Light Side, where it was like... Oh hey, this guy got like two out of four waves. We, l- what did you do? Like, let's find out because that was that's important. We need to be able to get that many waves. That's amazing. Right, exactly. So it's going to be a lot of trial and error again. I will, I will agree. Like, I saw this relic list and I was like, ooh, that looks harsh. <laughs> that is yeah. very, very hard to swallow. But then I went and I looked at. Um, my notes that I kept from when light side, I have notes from every light side geo we've done. And the first one we ran, we were, or sorry, the first one I was, I was coordinating. So it was the second time light side geo was out. Um, it was, we were 240 million GP and we got 12 stars and we made it to phase three in ships and the bottom track where like to the cam zone essentially but Mm -hmm. then that middle zone we never left the first zone like that's where we live for months we did not go into phase two Um, (laughs) and it it, Mm. i I remember but i looked at that i'm like okay so 12 stars out of i think 36 is the cap Mm -hmm. theoretically yeah a third which no one has maxed on it yet and then you have this one i'm like it's gonna be the same thing we're not gonna see these zones where relic nine is a requirement relic eight is a requirement like we're not gonna see that and and for reference our guild that we share is 467 million gp And I have zero plans to take us into phase four. As of right now, there's still information missing. So I want to see what that information is. But but as of right now, I'm like, you have to put Relic 8 on an entire squad to run the combat. And if you're, if you decide to do platoons, depending on what they benefit, like, it's just not going to happen. So there's no point putting that pressure on the guild. Right. Uh, yeah. Like I remember just feeling if it, it felt so unreasonable in light side territory battles, it was just like, I need these characters so bad. Like mm-hmm. Dar- Jedi Revan. Are you kidding? Like I need him. I right. I can't live without him. Uh, you know, like the CLS team, uh, like needed see CL- Like we needed so much and we, they slowly added the tools, but yeah, it's going to feel desperate again. It just is. Totally. And I, I guess I, I will say, like, at least we can get to the Reva mission. Right. right? That's the but, goal. Like, well, at least that's the, yeah, I guess I shouldn't just say we will for sure definitively do it. But it seems like because it's going to be six days, we mm-hmm. might just be able to, uh, you know, 
planet so that we were able to, you know, at, at the very least get one star in the zone right before that on day five. And then on day six, we could all sneak in Arriva missions and, right, you know, call it good. Right, exactly. Because... If it's, I mean, and, there, and this is what I mean by there's information missing. We don't know how many points it is per zone, per star. We don't know how many combats per zone. We don't know what the platoons are going to affect in terms of, do they affect the zone that they're in right now? Do they affect the zone the next mm, phase? Right. Like all, all that kind of stuff. And so, for example, I was talking to another officer tonight about phase three, and we were looking at the platoon list for it. And I was like, well, if these affect phase four and we're not going to phase four, we're right. not filling these. Why why, why am I would going... we? Yeah. Right. Like why would I tell my guild to platoon Lord Vader when they could go and use him and get combat waves instead? Ooh, so I didn't actually look at the at, at these. Um is Lord Vader actually on the platoon list? Like are there, are there, gla there, there are galactic, galactic legends? legends. So the platoon, uh -huh. the platoon list, <laughs> the platoon list, it's interesting. So it's the same amount of, of characters that you need now. It's 90 per zone. Um, and it is a mix of characters and ships. So it's not like oh, a ship wow. platoon and a, and a character platoon. Um, so, wow. but it's, but it's interesting. And I'm actually going to suggest that people look at the platoons before they even start planning because um there are platoons that you're not going to be able to fill right away like scythe is in them right away mm -hmm. like we we can't even get scythe till middle of january like that right so if scythe is in a platoon that you know you can't complete you don't fill that platoon right like there's things there that will help you at least help the guild get a little bit uh, more traction because that th those are ships and characters that you're not worried about being locked or lost to platoons. Right. Well, yeah, like it, that. That's just a freebie in a way. You're just like, oh, mm -hmm. don't have to worry about that one. Yeah, that looks tough, but but let's not let's not worry about it. Um. All right. So here's one thing. One thought I had, and people, are, I've, this is gonna be like my statement that like everyone like the music turns off, like the, the DJ's disc is going to like skip a beat, you know, like <laughs> everyone's going to look at me and like start throwing things. Um, but in, this, in a way, screeching. yeah, yeah. It, in some ways though, I feel like data crons have helped us prepare for this a little bit because relic five to be able to use these characters, like my <laughs> professor X account, Everyone who I use consistently, who I see as worthy or whatever, is Relic 5. Like, all my Jedi are Relic 5. I don't know how useful they'll end up being. Uh, you know, like, Jedi Revan, who knows. Uh, but, like, I'll be able to be pretty... Like, I'll have a, a decent number of teams available for the first phase and maybe even the second one, you know? Right. Um... Because, because I want to be able to use datacrons to their full effect. Now, I know that some people are ignoring datacrons, and that's their own choice, and that's fine. Not going to, you know, not going to get into that right now at all. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't have issues with people who don't want to play datacrons at all either. But, yeah, like, this is... Honestly, like, to me, I'm like, oh, this is kind of nice. Like, I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, like... I have so many, I used to have so many characters at gear 11, because I'm like, well, you just need their mechanics, but now I need a Datacrons so that I got them to Relic 5, and, yeah. and now I'm good. I'm good to go. Like, it's, and, and I guess the thing that I like most about it is that it overlaps. It's like, okay, so you have to do this for territory battles, so it also works with Datacrons. Like, the two of them are kind of, you know, they, they work together. But it also works, like, you have to have... I can't remember because it's been so long since I've actually paid attention to a raid. But for, for Challenge Pit, you need Relic 5? Relic 3? Relic 5. 5. Yeah. So you need... You can't even even join the raid without a Relic 5 character. Right. And you can't... Def, you definitely can't take a full squad in or, or a squad in without a Relic 5 character. Without Relic 5 across the board. So, like, you've got that. You've got Datacrons. Mm -hmm. You have this. Um, proving grounds, I think you need relic three as well as four million GP, like on your squad. I think someone can correct me if that's wrong because I mm. obviously haven't done it. 
But there so are these, these. You're too good at conquest, Sarah. <laughs> Stop being so good at conquest. But there are these relic gates that are that are happening. Um, and I feel like it also makes more sense to gate at relics versus galactic power. Absolutely. GP is such an arbitrary waste of everything. Uh, so uh, that uh, people are like, well, it was GP instead of like, you could kind of choose, you you know, uh, and I guess I can understand the arguments of like GP, at least, you know, like for certain unlock things, you needed Zalbar to either, or was it Candorous, you like you either put his Zeta on or you put a relic, like you've got him to gear 13 or something like that. Like it was, it was something like, you know, you have to choose uh, yeah. between some valuable resource or the other, but you could choose. I guess I could see that, but relic levels are standardized. I, I like them a lot more. Honestly, like, even as it's kind of frustrating and <laughs> the fact that they're not changing anything about, they're not boosting how fast we can get relic levels, like, mm -hmm. that that might get old pretty soon. And, and gosh, how stupid is gear, thir gear 11 for characters who aren't farmed yet now? Like, there's it's just more right. and more stupid. But... Uh, <laughs> cool. Gear th Gear Eleven is the same as Gear One. Um, yeah, yeah. I, th I think I think relic levels make more sense. They they're standardized. They people have expended the same ish resources across mm -hmm. the board. That's the other thing that we don't know. Like on top of like points and combats and all this kind of stuff, we don't know what the rewards are yet. Oh well, yeah, I mean, so we have the list of things. Could we go to the list of yeah. uh, potential rewards for GT3? That, that's uh, what you can buy in the store. Right. So right? yeah, this is this is GT3, and that's that's the only reward we have so far, at yeah. least. So okay. So yeah, Guild Event can, Three. We could get all these conquest characters. I thought was interesting. That was interesting. I thought that was interesting. So you got Watt and Cam, which I think most people knew was going to happen yeah like we we've all kind of expected that mm -hmm. yeah but then um the the conquest characters surprised me yeah scion of jango's there like he's important <laughs> i mean cat and maul that's huge no oh, i mean those two are so fundamental man they're, they're so yeah. important um i'm i i was so happy to see them in that store actually i, I want people to have access to them because the the current way to unlock them is just so perversely anti new player. It's it's obnoxious. Well, I mean, and I'm I'm also curious. Like, will you will they add other conquest characters to the no. like after X amount of time? Do they also get added? Probably. So, uh, the materials was interesting. You can actually mm -hmm. buy a, one Omicron mat per week, which is uh. It seems like it's real stingy on their end, but if you think about it in terms of you're only getting one and a half total Omicrons per month, I think. Is that it? You get 30-ish? Maybe it's just 20-ish. You, you don't get just total Omicron. Like, how, how many? I can't remember. However four... many galactic challenges there are. Correct. Plus, plus four from Conquest if, if you buy the pass. Two if you don't. Yeah, so it, it's so it's two challenges per week, so that's four. Um, so you're getting, you know, yeah, sixteen. Yeah. So you're getting like one Omicron a month ish right now. Yeah, if you do all the challenges and stuff, um, and, and if that's the case, like four per month, like four more per month is actually a pretty big percent increase. It feels real stingy on their end, but that's up. It's not terrible. Uh, like, in terms no. of the, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to catch us up, I guess, but right. it, it it does help a little bit at the very least. Well, I mean, the fact, like, for, for me, for example, I cannot remember the last time an Omicron dropped in Cantina. No. Like, no. I can tell you it dropped for Professor X yeah. yesterday. I, I don't know why I said no, because <laughs> you tell me all the time. You're just like, I hate, uh, I can't get Omicrons. Omicrons don't drop for me. But No, they drop for Professor X like candy. Oh, I'm glad they're dropping for Professor <laughs> X. He, he needs them. But, he needs but, someone who's grateful. <laughs> but, 
But if you are like me, and and I know quite a few other people who also have the same issues where they just don't drop in canteen, I'm like one a week in the store. Like that's a guarantee, another guaranteed spot, basically. Yeah. So that's pretty big. And then you've got all of this lovely uh, relic stuff and some micro, some mod app attenuators, whatever. Yeah, and we'll have to see how much GT3 we actually earn and how much these actually cost. Yeah. Like, it, th this seems re overly stingy, like, just because they're in such small numbers compared to what you need. Um, mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see if, like, oh, yeah, actually, I can, I can actually buy a full 20-piece impulse detector, at, like, for, for my efforts in territory battles this week. Right. And, I mean, you do territory most... Well, I shouldn't say most, but a good a good chunk of guilds that are going to run this territory battle are going to do it twice a month instead of mm -hmm. alternating between this one and and light side geo most likely. Right. Um, so you're you're going to earn this decently, depending on what the rewards are. It is capped. It's capped at twenty five thousand, which again should not surprise people. I don't think. No. I tell you what, let's talk about the cap when we go to your channel, All Sarah. Right. Um, guys, there should be a link below. You can click on it uh, in the video description at the very least. Go check out Sarah's channel. We'll be continuing this discussion of uh, talking about the um, the cap on how much GT3 we can have. Mm -hmm. Yep. See you in a minute, folks.